What's up everyone? We are doing another draft this time with Grounded, Haps, Sag and RevGT and it was very fun as always. But uh, before we hop into the games let's uh, talk about the draft itself real quick. The full draft is going to be on Grounded's channel so if you are interested in that please go check it out. I believe it was a very fun experience to see us uh, drafting the pets uh, themselves. But uh, as for the results, the pets in green are the ones that I picked and you can see that I tried to go for a toy kind of setup. We have Lemur, we have uh, Stingray, Mosasaurus, Puma, all that good stuff. And uh, I honestly thought that it would uh, scale pretty nicely and it would give me some nice equipment in the end. But uh, you'll see what happened in the games. Without further ado, let's hop into it and I really hope you enjoy. Okay, we're going to start this game from turn 5 because usually nothing spectacular happens during the first 4 turns of the game. But you can see I've set myself up pretty nicely. I have a sheep, a beaver, a wombat. I even leveled up into a penguin so I have 2 scaling units on the team which is actually very good. Especially with the garlic press that the lemur provided me. It gets me such a big advantage over the other people. Kind of unfair honestly, I probably won't be taking it for a third time in a row because it just feels very unfair at this point. But yeah, you can see even though I'm getting such an advantage from the garlic press, the, the games are still pretty close. Which is very nice to see, you know, like we are all basically equal in skill level so it only makes sense for all of us to be kind of equal in the arena as well and uh, yeah other than that we played a set of five games this was the final game of the set and uh, for me it was like 2 a.m at the time if not even later so i was very tired so if i do make some mistakes please forgive me i wasn't uh, thinking 100 percent straight I think this will be a tie even though, yeah, let's see, yeah, it's actually a loss, never mind, yeah, Grounded is having such a good setup in the early game with the Toad, and you'll see later on even his Toad will be very strong, but for now turn 7 is the turn that defined the game for me, and you'll see why, I level up into Double Shark, which is absolutely incredible, like, tempo wise, I don't think you can compare even close with this, because even skunk that is anti-scaling doesn't really counter the shark because it just uh, scales back up. I even have some faint units on the team already so maybe more summons. We'll see the wombat, it's not really guaranteed from the wombat but the sheep is going to spit out two rams which is always very nice especially if you have double shark. This time as well we get another summon from the wombat because uh, Haps had a deer. And you can see even with his double skunk it doesn't really phase me because I have uh, summon sent sharks which are neither of those are affected by skunk which is extremely nice. Here I was thinking about maybe peeling the giraffe or the sheep to get the shark buffs but I decided to abstain for a turn. Like. Uh, Maybe I get a level 2 shark next turn or even if I don't I might find better pillable options. You can see in the shop in the last two rolls I get uh, two turtles. Which is actually extremely lucky because melon is not actually in the pack, it's not even draftable so no one has access to it conventionally. So the only way you can get melon basically is by peeling turtles onto your units. And it's extremely lucky that I found two pills with two turtles and I even get a level 2 shark now as well. So it's going to get massively scaled up now. I get a melon plus 4 plus 8 from a single turtle pill which is absolutely astounding. I even level up into a mammoth which I'll be taking uh, when is it after I peel the, the turtle obviously. But yeah, I very much appreciated this build, very little if nothing uh, to do with the toys which are kind of like big brain plays. Instead I got to play around with uh, mindless scaling which I very much appreciate for uh, 2 a.m. in the morning. But even so grounded stout uh, still gives me some resistance, it's not as easy as it might seem. 
even though my scaling is going to skyrocket on this turn as well. Another plus 4 plus 8 for the uh, shark. We get a level 3 wombat. We level up into another mammoth, which is uh, actually incredible because it allows me to go for peel on the mammoth that's on the team and actually I can uh, replace it instantly with another one. And uh, yeah, other than ground, I don't think the other people have anything uh, even close to my level in terms of um, team strength. We'll see right now, I guess. We get matched up with Haps once again, he has found the reindeer, but uh, sadly it's not enough, especially since my Wombat gets to copy his deer and his skunk doesn't even get to do anything. Yeah, I, I, I don't really know what to say at this point, it's just luck basically that is scaring me right now. Double mama, double pill with the cow to end it off with. Shark is already in the 40s uh, in terms of stats, which is um, very nice. It having high HP as well is uh, pretty good, as you saw the skunk is going to target it first. And you kind of want that because the shark has the option to rebuild its HP backup, so it's not really felt the effect of the skunk. And yeah, I'm just taking a look at the other people's teams. Rev going for the nurse shark once again, he's been doing that a lot in this set. And you can see, I think it's actually going to work out this time, let's see. Ah, uh, pretty close. He gets even to copy my big shark, but it get to, to grow during the round, so it's not uh, a competition, sadly, for him. And yeah, all I need to do is now find another mammoth, maybe. Leveling the shark is meaningless, basically, because it's already so close to 50 HP. But I decide to do it anyway, I guess, since I've been sleepy all this time. <laughs> I don't really have a good excuse for you, sorry, I just misplayed. Um, thankfully I get to find another mammoth plus another pill, uh, another mushroom rather, ready to be peeled next turn. A bad buff from the giraffe, I shouldn't have bought the mammoth because it's going to be peeled next turn. Once again I am being matched with grounded and he's starting to run a lot of hedgehogs, which means my wombat is going to be copying the hedgehogs as well. Which, for now, works in my favor, I believe, even though he has the weakness, but later on it's going to be pretty iffy. Actually, I apologize for this moment as well. We've been like uh, two and a half hours in a call, so my headphones just died out on me and <laughs> I had to turn off the sound because my computer found is so loud, so uh, no in-game sound for now, sadly. But it's no big deal, I guess. You're just here for the commentary anyway, right? For my very pleasant voice. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll focus more on the game now, sorry. You can say I'm thinking about the cow even though it's basically meaningless. Like, what am I going to sell the giraffe? There's no way I'm selling a 13-13 right now for a cow that's uh, going to provide less stats for me. Basically, the only way I get to improve this team is by replacing the giraffe with actually a very useful unit, like... I don't even know what that would be, honestly. Super Auto Gaming we get to face here, he's going for a summon build with Parrot and um, Shepard, I almost forgot the name. But we get to beat it, thankfully, because we are so started up because of the Mammoth. But yeah, it's not going to be easy to find a replacement for the giraffe, maybe a dolphin, I don't even know, like, it's grounded steam mostly that's giving me trouble and uh, he's running a very similar setup to me, so stuff like scorpion, stuff like skunk wouldn't work very nicely. Thankfully I get to realize my mistake here, I'm no longer buffing the mammoth. My game plan was to get the mammoth up to level 2 and then start peeling it once again, so I get to receive double stats. Once again I get to match up against Grounded, but this time it's very nice because he picked up a turtle, but that works to his detriment because I get to copy 3 Easy victory therefore. 
And yeah, I don't really want to peel now the mammoth instantly because if I peel a level 1.5 mammoth it's going to respawn as a level 1, meaning that I get to lose half a level because of the play. So it would be most optimal if I get to find the level 2 mammoth first, then I get to continue on with the mushroom peel strategies. I'm not really behind on scaling so it's not a big deal if I postpone for a single turn or not. Let's, who we, uh, let's see who we get to match here. It's Haps, he was running a lot of sniper builds, he had some very good scaling in the monkey plus I believe Husky he also took. But this time we get to defeat him. And now it's just me and grounded and I have 4 more lives than him and uh, way better luck. He's uh, going for the same strategy but uh, unlike me he doesn't know how to get lucky so too bad for him. You can see shark at the back, mammoth at the front, basically the same thing. He's going a bit more meme with the hedgehog plus stalled even though it's actually very viable in the late game. And these rounds are going to start being uh, a little close as opposed to the to the last five rounds maybe that we faced each other. You can see only my shark remains. But for the last round, which I think is going to be this round, that the, it was actually pretty close. I didn't bother to do the calculations, but Grounded told me at the end that um, it was very slightly off of a draw. So yeah, GG's to everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this, I have uh, a lot of fun filming this every time, so please show me some support, please like, sub, do all the generic stuff, leave a nice comment and uh, I'll talk to you next time, take care.